Jamani struggles, needs help. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. <coughs> he is in a cycle of crash out mentality. He works a job, gets the money, gambles the money, Doesn't loses like the right money, now. goes back to complaining about not having a job, and then goes back to becoming a crash dummy. Dummy, dummy. The guy needs help, and somebody out there in the area of Rhode Island needs to get to this guy because, man, it is looking rough. Bro, I can't save myself. Just came back from the casino. Lost oh, there you Yo, what's going on guys? Pod that 7 here, man. We back at it talking about a crippling gambling addict that's been on the internet for almost, what, six years? Maybe more than that? We're talking about a guy named Jamani Struggles, okay? He has a reputation of destroying things on the internet. I remember seeing him when I was a kid, and now he's come back to fruition of vlogging his everyday life as content. And ladies and gentlemen, it is honestly one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm bored, and I'm broke broke and I'm a bum. Damn! Jamani Struggles is literally still struggling, all right? In which, if you guys watch any of his videos, you can highly tell that he is a compulsive gambling addict, okay? If you're wondering if I'm gonna go to the casino with my TikTok revenue once it comes in in the next few days, yes, absolutely. Bloody hell! He's been gambling for almost 11 years since what? he was 19 years old, and he'll win big, go to the casino, and blow what? it all in a fucking day. I've been keeping up with the guy's YouTube videos. He uploads every single day, watching him on stream. And let me tell you something, Jamani Struggles is a 30-year-old man that sleeps on the floor and does not have a car. Damn! Hey, I'm not trying to judge nobody, but the guy constantly goes back and loses money that he clearly needs. And the reason I'm talking about this is because it is absolutely crazy to watch this shit happen live. Like, this is a real person right here, dude, I kid you not. But basically, right, he's in a stage of which he just quit his job, right, and he's going into a full full-time content career he made a video on this a few days ago talking about it basically saying hey man i can't work a job because i'm not a normal person i'm not the average joe i'm making the decision to quit dollar tree first of all i'm a content creator what ain't no reason for me to have a job i'm not a regular person i have hundreds and millions of views on the internet i can literally just make content and people donate money to me while the average joe still has to get a job and nobody's supporting them is this serious and to that jamani i say sir you are sleeping on the floor as a 30 year old man <laughs> And you're telling me you don't want to work a job, but you want to become a content creator, which is okay. I have nothing against being a content creator. I want to be a content creator. But your excuses of you becoming a content creator are in tied with your gambling addiction, all right? And so he goes to the casino and loses all his money and says, well, I'm a content creator. So I make content. Even though I'm losing money, it's still content. It's a different situation. You know, I'm a content creator now, so... I'm only gambling for content and a little bit of addiction. But that's an entire contradiction of the guy, man. Because I kid you not, there was a video a few days ago in which he won twelve hundred fucking dollars from the casino, guys. He could have bought a bed with that money, right? I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen. Within a few hours of him uploading that video, he uploads another video in which he explains that he lost all the money off camera gambling. I just lost six hundred dollars, right? I was gambling off camera. I say, wait a second. If you're a fucking content creator and you go to the casino for content only, why are you not filming all the content when you go to the casino? I know why you're not filming the content because you're a gambling addict, okay? And the crazy thing about this is that he knows he's a gambling addict. He has multiple videos on his channel for years of him saying, hey man, I'm a gambling addict. I made the bed, I gotta sleep in it. Gambling at casinos, I took every chance. My $20 loss turned a 40 grand. What? But I'm like, man, you just won fucking $1,200, but you go back and blow it all. You are a gambling addict that needs help. And one of the things that really makes this entire thing sad is that he's been in this predicament for almost eight, eight, eight fucking, fucking years, years man. man. If you go back to his early videos, he's always stating, man, I can't wait to get out of these trenches, man. I can't wait to make my life better in the future. I can't wait to stop sleeping on the floor as a grown man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 2024. He has videos going all the way back to 2017 in which he's still in the same predicament doing the same stuff over and over again. Working a job, getting a paycheck, quitting a job, going to the casino, blowing the money, becoming a crash out. He is a ticking time bomb, man, in which he has already said this shit before that he is a compulsive person in which he might just snap. Right now, you could tell I'm very compulsive like right now if i had an altercation with somebody i will physically like like that it could 
I get crazy like that. That ain't it. It's just a horrible situation that this guy has put himself in, in which he won't get himself out. So guys, I had to break this shit down and my numbers might be a little bit off, but this is the result of how much money this man has made in the last two weeks and how much money he's fucking lost. I kind of went through and schemed the videos a little bit to try to add this up. So boom, he starts off the day with going to the casino with $338. He goes back and wins $500, okay? So now he's up. Up $838, right? He goes back to the casino the next day and damn near loses all of it. He lost $700 from the $838 he fucking had. So now that leaves him with $38. So boom, he gets a paycheck, right? And people and his fans donate him money. He goes to the casino with $1,000 and leaves the same day with four bucks. Leave him with. Maybe $4 or something like that. He lost $996 in one day. Fuck no. And then his fans donated more money in which he has $480, right? Goes to the casino and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? He lost all of it. I lost so 338 plus 500 plus 1000 plus 480 this guy in the last two weeks has lost $2,300 at the casino I don't want to do this no more he has a problem guys every single video at the end of the video he says don't gamble don't gamble don't be like me I feel bad I'm not gonna gamble anymore I gotta do better then he goes back and does the shit all over again I'm not even trying to crack jokes but I want to remind you that this man 30 year old man does not have a bed to sleep on he does not have a car to get around the city guys he puts his clothes in a suitcase he buys groceries from dollar tree i'm not even trying to joke right now like this is low key not even low key this is sad as hell but you blew 2300 dollars in the last two and a half weeks and you talking about you gonna quit your job to become a content creator because gambling is content but, but look, look at, at what, what it's what doing, doing to you, you. look at how how you living man guys when i look at this guy and even though it's through a screen behind those eyes guys is nothing i'm not even gonna lie to you bro that is a broken man beyond those eyes they always say the eyes is the window to life or some shit right i'm looking at this guy's eyes man and there's nothing behind them bro he is on the verge of a ticking time bomb crash out and listen i gotta blame his fans in some way because they enable this guy man they enabled this man to quit his job because he was making so many donations in his videos in which they know they're sending their money to a compulsive gambling addict in which he's gonna take your money that you're sending to him and go gamble it his fans are enabling this behavior and sometimes bro i'm not even gonna lie they be cooking his ass in the comments bro sometimes it'd be funny i'm not even gonna lie bro like look at this shit bro through the spectrum <laughs> Nah, that's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. Bro will do everything except get psychological help. On God, like, why do all these things but not get help? Like, what the fuck? Guys, this one took me right here. This probably got to be the worst comment ever seen in my life. Bro, talk about some... Hi, Jamani. I'm a new subscriber. I just want to thank you for uploading these gambling and lifestyle vlogs because they genuinely make my day every time. You actually inspire me, but not in the way you may think. A little over a week ago, I found out my girlfriend of two years was cheating on me with a black man. <laughs> I was so pissed, bro, to the point that I was ready to crash out. I started to become more and more racist towards random black people on the internet and in real life because I associated them with that asshole black dude. Then I discovered your channel and I saw how down bad you are. <laughs> I realized that there's nothing to worry about because there exists black people out there like you that are objectively doing worse than me. What the fuck? So really, there's no need to irrationally hate all black people since not all of them are doing better than me or threats to me. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that by me watching your videos of you suffering daily, you basically help me appreciate my situation more and become more tolerant of people of all colors and ethnic backgrounds. I just want to thank you for that. What the actual fuck is going on in this guy's comment section, man? This guy I basically said, wait a second, not all black people are bad just because how Jamani struggles is living. What the actual fuck is happening in this comment section, man? But this comment really speaks the most manners out of all of them. The guy says, you're not gambling for engagement, which is why most of it is off screen. You're doing it because it's a problem, bro. 
do it the right way and everything will follow along brother that mindset just gonna make you hit the casino again in which this guy is absolutely right jamani will fight two for nail saying hey i only gamble because i'm a content creator but then you'll go and gamble off camera it's honestly sad that how delusional this guy is man i hate to say it but he's really a delusional individual man and guys the conclusion to this is that this guy is locked in to crash out he already has a history of crashing now but this right here is a certainty that he will crash out because i'm here to tell you this right now in case anybody didn't know this gambling content is not, not maintainable not especially in the way he's fucking gambling i'm not even joking he sucks at fucking roulette he cannot gamble right at roulette coming from somebody that knows how to play roulette well he actually plays roulette terribly his content will eventually get to a point where he's not making any donations right he's not working a job he's not getting any money to fuel this addiction and guess what the fuck happens in that brain of his right snaps now he's an unpredictable person now you don't know what he's gonna do to try to get that money to goddamn gambling but yeah man i just think this is entirely sad and i've been watching the guy's content for like almost a month now and one thing i'll take away from it that is good is that it's real this isn't like uh, some made up shit off tv this is a real person's life and as bad as his real life is i will say i give him credit for showing it even though his life fucking sucks it's really his life that he's filming on the internet for all of us to see and which jamani man if you ever see this video i wish the best for you dude i want you to do good man listen man you are in such a great position as a content creator to take this to the next level dude like really everybody would love to see your videos if you bossed your life up because man you're getting money like you're getting donations from people listen i'm a content creator motherfuckers don't send me money cash app right here but they ain't sending me no money type shit like they're sending you money to go get something to eat. hey grab something to eat jamani go get something to drink jamani go get something to snack on jamani like they're looking out for you man and which you have a really strong community but i don't want you to crash out man i don't want you to lose it all over some dumb shit especially the fucking casino of all things but yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed the video i wish the best for jamani i don't want him to crash out i'm gonna keep watching his uh daily uploads on my twitch come check it out on twitch.tv slash pymat7 underscore but yeah boys i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on this subscribe and let's wish the best for jamani man peace i promise i'm gonna stop being a heathen bro we're right